So here is my Concept 2 Model D rowing ergometer that I turned into a dynamic herb. This is just a regular old Concept 2. I put a bungee cord on the back here to limit the travel. This really is what keeps you in the middle of this thing, whether you're rowing on an Ortex slider or a Row Perfect or any of them. Row Perfect put a, heated their tubing and put a dip in it right here which I think might be the best way to keep your seat right in that area and I think I'll do that to this one but for right now I'm using a bungee. Um, Con uh, Row Perfect's model has a main beam here of 6 feet 11 inches. Mine is 6 8 but I've tested the travel on both ends and I know I can cut it down to 5 8 so it'll make it for make a very compact unit. I used model A, B, C2 rear and front legs I put springs in my handle here, which I think is kind of what Row Perfect must have done, and that, allow, that gives you some, some dampening at the catch. You can get these springs at Ace Hardware. I've got them on my Word document. Anybody who wants any information on this, email me at xhecox at gmail.com. X-H-E-A-C-O-X at gmail.com, and I can send you a Word doc describing uh, how I did this. The thing I like about it is, first of all, I built it. Second of all, it's quiet because it has a C2 fan mechanism, which is a very quiet unit. It has a performance monitor 3, which we're all accustomed to, so that's nice. Uh, the only thing I had to do was make this assembly that has the rollers in it and then put this brace on it. And I did that without altering the stock C2 hardly at all. It's, uh, you can put it back to 100% stock, or you can clamp the front section and you can roll it as a uh, static erg if you want to. But I've been working on, uh, working on it, uh, out on it now for about two weeks, and works very well. Um, very sturdy and stable. The only clicking you hear is these little springs. I need to do a little hand work in so the spring in this area so the springs don't click. Anyway, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing that fancy about it. There's nothing difficult about it. I'll give you some close-ups here. You can kind of see the roller mechanism there. I used model DE upper seat rollers because they have bigger bearings and they're bigger in diameter. I cut them in half and then I put a piece of pipe in here. It's all explained in my Word document. I used two by two stainless steel uh, beam here, which I think is pretty close to what Row Perfect uses. You can see the aluminum plates I made and the support for the side there. That really tightened it up good. It's very smooth. Uh, Row Perfect's may be better, probably is better, but this certainly works perfectly good. I used a C2AB um, seat mechanism here and then I put uh, one inch by two inch aluminum channel under it to raise the seat because the seat position really did need to be raised. Actually you can keep this bungee at about four inches back here or six inches just like that. That's what will allow you to cut the beam down to about five eight. I'm six foot two with a 34 inch inseam so I can get the beam down to 5.8. If you're seven feet tall, you probably wouldn't want to do that. But it'll make for a very nice compact unit. Again, I'm going to put a, I think I'm going to heat this up cherry red, put a little bit of a bow in it right here so the seat will stay in that area without a bungee like Row Perfect did. So other than that, pretty straightforward. I uh, don't really know much what w more I can tell you. Email me at r at xhecox at gmail.com and I'll tell you, tell you more than you'd ever want to know about it. Anyway, 
I do like a lot of foam under my seat, I'll tell you that. My butt kills me if I don't. Normally I roll with six inches of foam. That's only, I think that's a four incher there. Um, yeah, if anybody has any questions, uh, give me a call. I'd sure like to try a Roll Perfect one of these days because I hear they're really, they're supposed to be cool. I had a Nortex slider, which I used for about two weeks, and it was really nice. I liked it a whole lot. But uh, I like building my own stuff, so anyway, there it is.